Hi everyone, welcome to Orcapod. I'm Nathan. I'm Phoebe. And welcome to Oceanology International. Come follow us in. Sam Stanton for Nature Metrics. We've got their really lovely booth here. Um, thanks for coming on the podcast, no Sam. Cool, cool. Um, so, Phoebe, take it away. Sam, something we wanted to know is what has been maybe a highlight for you this week? What's been a highlight has been the number of people um, we, were, we were genuinely worried as to whether we'd get that many people we're a bit different sort of the strange biologists in the corner in our little cupboard but we've been really pleased there's been a lot of interest in the technology that we're talking about and, and the demos of the technology so that's definitely been the highlight that's always good to hear yeah very and your, much bo- your booth's been busy every time I've come by and yep. it does look great I absolutely love it yeah, yeah it's very colourful love to see more colour around. that's great yeah I was getting the interest you know we're new we're a new science we're a new discipline as well getting people in engaged with the ease of collecting really good data. That's the yeah. important thing for us. And, and having people stop off and ask us the questions, that's what we wanted. And the amount of interest has caught us by surprise a little bit. I haven't stopped talking for about three days now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The voice is a bit like, oh, Very much so, it's a yeah. rest. <laughs> has there been a particular piece of technology that's really interested you that you've been able to see while walking around? Or? Well, other than mine. Um, <laughs> other than yours, of course. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's any one piece of technology. I guess for me, I've been in the industry quite a while now, and it's the the size of the movement to autonomous stuff is is vast, and what those autonomous solutions can do now. You know, you've got things, you've got cameras, you've got acoustic solutions, you've got water samples, which is interesting for us because we'd like to integrate what we do into those water samples. You know, the industry is has not just moved with with one foot; it's it's taken its shoes and socks off and jumped into autonomous solutions, and it's really obvious when you look at it now. It's it's a massive step change. Fantastic. It is. There's like like autonomous vehicles on nearly every booth now. Yep. Whereas, yeah. Mean, everywhere you turn, there's a little suitcase ROV, or there's, and there's then, a big AUV yeah. pottering around in the dock. <laughs> it's it's really exciting. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, and the last thing that we want to ask you is, if you have somebody coming to the show for the first time, what are the three top tips you give them? Well, for the first time. Um, Free tips. Um, uh, talk to us because we're brilliant and we've got a really good stand. Uh, actually, just talk to everybody because you've got people here that have done so many different things. You know, I've talked to people that I worked with 15 years ago, people that have now worked in the places I used to work at, and they've all got such different experiences and different sets of skills. And I think that's only two things, but for me, that's the biggest thing. That's the joy of somewhere like that. You get to talk to so many interesting people with so many different backgrounds. And, and learn so many different things because of it. So it's a it's a cracking event for that sort of thing. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, well, Sam. Thanks so much, Sam. No worries. Really appreciate all. it. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. So here we have Robin, president of Seymour Marine ROVs from uh, from BC over in uh, Vancouver in Canada. Thank you very much for joining us on the podcast. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Pleasure. We've just got a couple of questions. Um, so the first one is, what has been sort of a highlight for you this week? This week, I would say. I really like to see everybody's back to normal and yep. remind me the OI I, I was for six years ago and uh, I would like to see more traffic but I'm very happy with the amount of traffic we got. And, That's uh, good to hear. Yes, and the first day was great, second day even better. Yeah, it's very yeah. great. Yeah. Today is like suppliers, yes. and some, <laughs> some repeat customer come. Uh, get some new questions, which mm-hmm. is good sign. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Has there been a particular piece of technology that you've seen or an idea you've heard of at the show that has really interested you? I believe so. There's a few uh, sensor providers, mm-hmm. like obviously the Sonar 9, we yeah. had them again. They were really trying to utilize what that device can actually help in terms of uh, confined space navigation, you reach the feature of our vehicle, mm-hmm. so I'm expecting a lot of email okay. from them. The next yeah. step, demonstration, I'm hoping Ocean Business, we can do actually something in the water together. Oh, that'd be excellent. Um, and then our final question for you is, if you had got a newcomer coming to Oceanology next time, mm. what are three top tips that you would give them? Top tip, location. Mm-hmm. And uh, the color mm-hmm. and the equipment. Okay. 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 I think what we have done for the first time, we have a full setup. Mm-hmm. 
and the color we choose is really standing out. And not Very many good. and uh, having the same color today, yeah. which is also helpful. Yes. I think next year we might want to move a little bit towards the center, mm -hmm. and the orientation of the booth turn 180. Okay. So facing the entrance. Now it's like facing the end of the hall. Uh, yes. So that they will be helpful mm -hmm. to bring more traffic. Yeah. Good idea. Well, also, by the way, I really like to be close to our Southwest. Uh, so we can actually, uh, yes. you know, engage you more. And then, it's a, because lots of UK traffic in the last few days. Yes. And uh, easier to really send back and forth. Yeah, I would agree. Yes. Well, Robin, thank you so much for coming yeah. on the podcast with us. Thank you very much. You. Pleasure to see you in person. For sure. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on. No worries. Um, first of all, we're coming to the end of the week. What's been a highlight for you from the show? Uh, seeing humans. <laughs> <laughs> but they're no longer in 2D on a, seat, on a screen. It's been really nice. And seeing people who you haven't like, seen for a couple of years. Yeah. That's been really good. Fantastic. Yeah. It's been really nice being able to, like you said, people that, I mean, we're quite new to the industry. So people that we've met only on a yeah. virtual form. It's nice to see people in, the, in real life. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Partner companies and stuff like that, and it's made it all a bit more fun and a bit more real rather than just emails all the time. Yes. Um, and the next question we have for you is what is a piece of technology or an idea that you've seen this week that you've oh, yeah, that's really cool, that's different? Um, I don't know about different, but something that I've been really impressed with is um, Giscrow. The, okay. They're a Finnish company and they are doing like asset management and lots of 3D modeling with bathymetry surveys and LIDAR and stuff like that, so you can get a whole complete view of your port. So and they can identify assets and they can do and it's like so it looks really whizzy, but it's got everything very easy access and they've got a very similar ethos to us in that data management is really key. Right. So it's all about the right people managing the data but making that accessible to the people who are making the decisions. Yeah. And it's uh, yeah, so I was really impressed. I had a really good chat with them and it was like, oh, it's nice to find people who also think like we do. <laughs> 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 Should go check them out. I haven't seen yeah, them. Haven't. They're over in the far corner. Oh, uh, cool. Down, yeah, down. Down. Yeah. Past you guys. By the ocean features. Yes, next yeah. to the ocean yeah. features bit. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to give them a check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. And then lastly, what's three tips that you'd suggest to someone for their first time at OI? Three things to bring with, three things to do or not do? Uh, don't party too late. No. <laughs> that's, a good one. So, that's a good, good learning curve. Um, uh, as, a, as an exhibitor, the freebies are key as how to get people onto your stand. People come by and go, I've heard you've got, and, and then they come. And, so that's the only reason they've come and talked to you, but it's still a way to yeah, still still open yeah. conversation. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah, get plenty of sleep in the week leading up to it. Very good advice. Just hibernate for the week coming up to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, switch your phone off and just chill out. Yeah, it's going to be a bit crazy. And don't do anything the weekend afterwards. No, yeah. definitely don't plan anything for that. Don't it off. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah, having uh, no for this all. interview. Yeah, excellent. Cheers, thanks nice to talk to you. So here we have Asa from Impact Subsea Limited. Uh, thank you very much for coming on the podcast as well. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Right. We've just got um, a few questions for you. So the first thing I wanted to know is what's been sort of a highlight for you this week? What's stood out? Yeah, well, uh, after the, the COVID pandemic and everything, uh, luckily, we uh, we got the chance now to see people in person, of course, and uh, also uh, been uh, quite uh, fruitful this year. And uh, yeah, new technology, new things around, so it's been like uh, so good. Yeah. yeah. Good to hear. Good to hear. Excellent. Has there been a, a specific piece of technology or an idea that you've seen in the show this year that has really interested you? Uh, well, yeah, I've uh, I've seen I've seen a lot of things now going like uh, more electric. Uh, so I've been uh, seeing like uh, the the ROVs, for example, like uh, more of electric now, and uh, even the manipulators. So I was working as an ROV pilot before, so I've been using like different ROVs, like the big ROVs. Was always working with hydraulics, and that was always like leaking hydraulic oil to the sea, and it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, but now like I can see like uh, even like the manipulators, and that's the major thing actually. Uh, for me, the manipulators to be electric, uh, this is a, a quite good thing to be honest. Yeah, so that's the main one that, that I see 
like really attractive. Yeah. I think the big Saab CI, that's their electric. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah that's, that's a amazing. that's an electric one and a big one as well. So that's yeah. yeah that's really impressive. It's the yeah. first thing I saw when I walked in. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then our final question is: If you've got somebody who hasn't attended Ocean Island before and you've been to a few shows now, yeah. what are three top tips that you give to somebody? Oh, uh, okay. Just. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, just walk around, listen to people, uh, know about, like, new technology. This is really, really interesting. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're working in this industry, you'll, uh, you'll find, like, the latest technology here. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, socialize. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Some really good tips there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Good that. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us you're on the welcome, podcast. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you guys. Yes. So we're here we have Chris Contos from Del Mar Oceanographic, who's also on our stand this time. So thanks very much for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Excited. <laughs> um, so uh, we, one thing we want to know is something from the show that's been a highlight for you that stood out. I, I'm kind of a like a tech geek, so okay. I, I actually really like walking around and looking at the different technology. You know, buoys new CTDs, new water quality measurement sensors, that sort of thing. So it, it also plays into exactly what I do, um, which is probably why I like it so much. But it's it's really cool to learn about the just new technology. Um, and specifically, I do a lot of, in the profiling realm. And so not all sensors are uh, so much conducive to actually be used in a profiling environment, as I'm sure you guys know quite well. But um, going around and seeing what's new and what can be applied or what, what older technology has been converted into now profiling capable sensors, yeah. it's kind of exciting to see as well. And then there's toys. Yeah. Right? There's <laughs> ROVs. Toys. There's, I put on some VR glasses and actually like operated a crane earlier and things oh, like wow. that. So that's... I saw them doing was that. It looked cool. really good fun. Actually. I was terrified I was going to walk off the end of the ship or run, <laughs> worse run into their booth. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. It's, uh, well, with that in mind, has there been a particular highlight for you? And if, maybe not some, like, a specific product, but something that you've uh, enjoyed hearing about or an idea or something yeah. you've watched? Or, I would say um, <laughs> kind of learning about the, the environmental groups actually going out and doing the data. Like I spent the, the bulk of today actually walking around and talking to those groups. And seeing the people who are actually getting the water and using the equipment has kind of been a, a, a different opportunity. I've usually been in the realm where I'm talking to sensor providers or, or the toys, right? Like, yes. um, but talking to those people who are going into the water and actually using the toys and collecting the data was kind of a fun experience. Today. I always enjoy sort of finding out what our products are being used for and the application it is. Cause it makes it a bit more, I think, interesting and a bit more exciting. And, yeah. Um, so the last thing we want to know is if somebody who's a newcomer to oceanology, what are the three top tips you'd give somebody? Comfy shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do a lot of walking and a lot of standing. Um, comfy shoes for sure. But um, yeah, I guess the other thing would be getting out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it could be a little bit intimidating to walk up to groups that you don't exactly know what they're doing, but that's why we're all here, right? Is to learn. So, uh, kind of getting in front of people and, and actually talking and asking questions and, and not being afraid to, to learn, mm -hmm. um, I think it's probably the main thing of, yeah. of what I would tell somebody coming here at first time. That's great. Thank, Thank you so much, Chris. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we're here with Chris Opdam from Data Well. Hi. We're going to ask you a few questions about the show. Sure. Thanks for joining us, Chris. First question, um, so what's been the highlight for you so far in the show? Um, it's hard to point to something specific. I mean, I've been walking around, well, not so much. I've been standing here alone most of the time, so I uh, <laughs> tend to not have much time to walk around. But to be fair, I've seen some pretty amazing stuff, um, some amazing gadgets and um, some amazing toys some people run along. Mm. Uh, I do really like the um, subsea technique, the, the, the boat they, uh, they built by hand, as in the, the, the scale model, it's really good. It must have taken a lot of time, but it's lovely. Lovely. Which that sort of leads us on to the next question, which is like, um, what sort of piece of technology that you've seen here that's like revolutionary or new or caught your eye? Uh, it's always hard to tell, I mean, yeah. um, I've seen some uh, some small stuff. I haven't really uh, asked a lot of persons about what they were selling and what they were doing. Yeah. Um, so basically, it's uh, a lot of people coming over here trying to sell stuff. 
But uh, to be fair, I do like the wire walker you were standing next to uh, mm -hmm. just a minute ago. Um, and I definitely like the, uh, the dolphin over there. Yeah, it's uh, very the whole idea. Yeah, about uh, trying to save people with this kind of technology is great. Yeah, absolutely. Last question. For someone that's coming for the first time to oceanology, what would be three things that you'd recommend they either do or bring while here? All right, that's a good question. Um, Colleagues. <laughs> yes, definitely that. No, uh, time. Um, take your time. I mean, uh, I've been here for... Uh, um, this is my second time on this floor. Um, what you need... If you want to see everything, you need more than a day. I yep. mean, you can see everything in a day, but then you don't talk to anybody. So uh, it's, a, it's better if you take your time and, uh, and see some people, get to know them, um, see what they're selling see where they're building, see where their passions lie. Uh, so take time. Um, I'd say that's the most important thing. I mean, all the other things you can get here. Yeah. Sure, this is true. Very true. Oh, great. Thank you for coming, Chris. You're welcome. Thanks for asking. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Oh, you're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So here we have Melanie from GTI. Uh, thanks very much for joining us on the podcast. No problem. Thanks for asking. Well, pleasure. Okay. So just going to ask you a few questions. Um, one thing that we want to know is something you've really enjoyed this week, maybe like something you take home and talk about, or yeah, is there anything that stood out? I think just this has been a huge learning experience for me, and there's so much to take in and kind of process. There's so yeah. much going yeah. on. <laughs> Has there, um, has there been a specific piece of technology that's really interested you that you've seen at the show this year? Um, I've noticed that there's a lot of like AUVs mm -hmm. and actually just around the corner at Ingenuity they had the Sea Snap which I thought was really cool and their little small clamp can hold like 800 kgs I think he said. Yeah, it was really impressive. That's cool, I've not heard of that. No, you don't have yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the last like hour we've got yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the fast, like the final question we've got is um, somebody who's not been to the show before what's like, uh, a couple tips you would give to them before they come shoes good shoes mm -hmm. it's a lot of walking um, and just kind of take the time to walk through and slowly look at everything because some of the booths are just incredible yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Thanks so much for joining no us. No problem. Thanks so much. Thank Jonas. you. Okay, so we're here with Chris Wallace from McCartney and we're going to ask you some questions about oceanology. No problem. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> what's, been a, what's been a highlight for you, Chris? What have you enjoyed seeing so far? I think actually just getting back out and meeting everybody again has been yeah. very important. Obviously, a couple of years of uh, not being able to do this has been detrimental to a lot of people so just getting back out seeing all the new technology all the other companies and uh, catching up with likes of yourselves and uh, our other customers has been, been great it's been great to see you as well <laughs> we always think about like, you're the first person we ever had a meeting with after we started our attack and it's right. just it's yeah. great yeah. <laughs> yeah. still got the USB that you gave us yeah. yes. Yes. <laughs> oh it's my question <laughs> sorry I'm not um, what, <laughs> what is a piece of technology that you've seen this week that's really stood out to you or yeah um, I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of interesting things going on at the moment. There's a lot of uh, new technologies, a lot of in terms of the robotic side and the automation side. So I don't think there's maybe one particular piece of technology. I think there's a lot of very interesting things going on, uh, including some of our own stuff, which we've been discussing with uh, a lot of customers. So uh, the, you know the automation, robotics, the remote control centers, all this kind of stuff moving forward, USVs, UAVs, all that stuff is, is looking very interesting in the way that the, the whole industry is going. Um, so that's going to be a one to watch. Brilliant, excellent. And to, uh, finally, to someone that's come to OI for the first time, maybe in two years' time, what's something that you'd recommend, or three things that you'd recommend them do or bring while here? Uh, I'd say that the first thing to do is plan. Mm -hmm. uh, because it is a big exhibition, so you can get quite easily lost. Yes. Uh, I've wandered the corridors many times trying to <laughs> figure out where I am. Um, I would say the second one is get some very comfy shoes. Not the first person to say that. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a punishing on the feet, so uh, as long as you do that. And, and third, just be ready to talk to everybody. It's, uh, it's a very open exhibition, it's a very open industry. People like to chat to each other all the time, and uh, be prepared to drink a lot of coffee. Is, uh, just, that coffee well. <laughs> just coffee, yeah. obviously. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on, Nick. Yeah, thank no thanks for us, guys. Cheers. So well, here we have Eduardo Vaz from RBR joining us today on the podcast. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, Eduardo. Um, the 
first question I want to know really is what's been a highlight for you this week? Uh, actually, just seeing people face to face has been by far the best, the best highlight. This is so many people that I've actually only seen uh, through Zoom, mm-hmm. so only their upper body. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see that they're in shape throughout, and that's great. Uh, yeah, and lots of partners, lots of good uh, agents that we have had meetings. So that by far the best, uh, the highlight. Yeah. Excellent. Has there been a particular piece of technology that's interested you that you've seen on the show? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Um, uh, honestly, I haven't had much of a chance to walk around. Mm-hmm. Uh, if anything, I've only walked around to our partners' uh, booths. Mm-hmm. And then I stayed here. We have, it's the first time where we're doing a live demo on our show. You know, our technology is pretty cool yeah. <laughs> to show. Uh, but yeah, I would, I'm not sure I could name something that really has stood out just because I haven't had a chance to walk around. Yeah, fair, okay. enough, fair enough. And then for somebody who hasn't ever been to the show before, what are some top tips that you would provide or suggest to them? Top tips? Um, hmm, let's say, um, you know, find out where the washrooms are early on. Yes, yeah. that's, that's always helpful. <laughs> uh, make friends with those that have uh, good coffee makers yeah. at the okay. booths. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, have comfortable shoes because you'll be standing a lot, whether you're just standing or walking down. Um, yeah, those are the basic some, things. Some excellent advice there. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for coming on, Edward. It's been great. Okay. Thank you very Thanks much. For, great Thanks to for see having you again. me. Likewise. Thanks. So, here we have Bjarne from Subsea Tech. Thank you very much for joining us on our podcast. Hi. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Yana, one thing we want to know is um, from this week, what's been something that stood out to you? What's been a highlight? Other than seeing us, of course. No. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> well, um, we had quite a few uh, nice, nice people around, um, mm-hmm. having well, good, good uh, talks here. Uh, met some some new people. Um, so that was good. Um, also, uh, also met uh, lots of uh, all the contacts that we mm-hmm. that we have been uh, around with for the last couple of years. Um, um, what I really like about this week is that uh, seeing so many people again. Um, yeah. With this all all this COVID um, the last what is it now two and a half years yeah. like two yeah. years yeah. so long yeah so so this uh, feels really good to, to meet people again and uh, being face to face. Yeah, it's been a lot of people's highlights this week is seeing everyone <laughs> face to face. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Has there been a certain piece of technology that's really interested you that you've seen around the show? I haven't been around that much actually. No. Um, no. Say your own. Yeah, you can say well, your of own. course, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, don't know. No, it's okay. Yeah, no, I mean, no. I've been around a bit, but um, not that I. No, not not, not nothing specific actually. No. So it sounds like everyone needs to raise their game. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing um, is for somebody who's not been to the show before, what would be your three top tips? Well, actually, this was my first time to the show, uh, oh, and also my first time to London, um, which Good insight, I really then. enjoyed. And uh, so, for, for London first, um, I really enjoyed having one day in London before the show, um, mm-hmm. having a bit uh, of sightseeing and uh, enjoying that. Uh, for the show itself, um, um, there there are quite a few very interesting presentations been um, mm-hmm. during the. The, the three days um, so I guess uh, that is something that people should check out um, yep. there very interesting stuff going on there um, and then just yeah walking around uh, just talking to people seeing what's new and uh, I really enjoyed that excellent Perfect. glad to hear well thank you very much for joining us Yana. welcome Cheers.